in this video, I'm gonna show you how to jump on the hyper techno hype that's blowing up right now. We'll be deconstructing my song. The first step of hyper techno is to find an old song. In this tutorial, we'll be using this one. Then we need to find the vocals and speed it up to around 150 BPM. Sounding like this. We are using a cover vocal to have the permission to upload it on Spotify. Now we're gonna mix it. First on distortion. Then get rid of the low end. Compress it. Add some fresh air to open up the high end. Then remove the harshness with Soothe. These frequencies. Then here comes some real sauce to the techno vocal. Add in a gross beat and select the saw gate, giving this stutter effect to the vocal. Then drop in some reverb and delay. And finish it off with a sidechain. Something like this. Now we're gonna dive into the drums. We'll be using our techno pack bunker for it. So if you wanna check it out, check it down below. First, let's use this really punchy techno kick. We'll be using this one for the first eight bars. Sounding like this. And then for the second part, I wanna use a drum loop. So go to the head loops. And drop it in. Sounding like this. Drum loops in the pack are really effective. It's just drag and drop. So now I want to make a drum fill right here. First, I want to get rid of the low end and the last part of the eight bars. Sounding like this. So I created this automation clip. And drop in this crash sound. And a reversed one to introduce them. Besides that, we're gonna stack it with FX. So I just dropped in these ones, this Atmos. Downlifter and the start of the drop. Uplifter. And a long uplifter. Just to glue it a bit more together. So that's it for the drums. All together, it sounds like this. Now we're gonna dive in the main element of the hyper techno track. We're gonna make the bass completely from scratch. So drop in a new pattern and a new serum. First, let's work on a MIDI. The vocal is an A minor, so. Let's start on the root notes. Then we're gonna follow the original chords. So it goes up to the C and up to the D. Something like this. First shape the wave tables, minus two octaves. Then we're gonna add a filter. All the way down. Shape envelope two like this. And route it to the cutoff. Make sure to check the mono as well to avoid overlapping notes. Then add some distortion. Another high cut. Some OTT. And EQ in. Just like this. Then we're gonna mix it first, add some distortion. Then EQ it. Remove this frequency and finish it off with a sidechain, giving that hyper techno bounce. Then drop it in and make it a bit more interesting. Let's tweak the mod wheel right to the cutoff. And I also want to add some delay and reverb to it, so tweak it like this so there's no low end in the delay. 
tweak the offset just a little bit and run a mod wheel to it do the same with a refurb just a small amount with no low end so it doesn't affect the stop so right now we have the mod wheel giving this effect automate it now we can create some more movement in the bass so just make some random animations I came up with this So that's it for the bass, all together with a kick, it sounds like this. That's a really solid foundation, but I want to make it a little bit more interesting. So I added some bass steps from the bunker techno pack. For example, this acid shot right here. Then this other step. This wobble sound. And another wobble. So together with the bass, the steps sound like this. Also gives a bit more techno vibes to it. That's it for the hyper techno drop. I think it turned out really dope. It's a fairly minimal production, but it really works well together. So we're gonna listen to the final result in a minute. Besides that, if you like the video, please drop a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. Check out the track on Spotify down below. And I see y'all in the next videos. Da, da, da.